Ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. We're finally here into the game for the Dota 2 Canada Cup season number four. In fact, the only game we'll probably play today in Isurus Gaming versus Union Gaming. Guys, it's been two freaking hours. I hope everybody's got their casting of Dota pants on because I know I do. I'm super excited to be here. All right. Yep. Greg, I got my drinking pants on. Greg has his drinking pants on, ladies and gentlemen. And if you don't, you're not you're not joining in the fun. You're not playing the game, which is every time there is a server disconnect, every time the server's down, take a shot. We're going to add that to our Dota 2 Canada Cup drinking rules because guess what? Uh, it's been a heck of a day, man. How are you? You know, we've had an adventurous day, Travis. And this is just, you know, this is just the perfect ending. It really this is. This is all I could have wanted. This is it right here. Except, you know, maybe servers that worked. Servers that worked. Uh, no intentional DDoS would be great yeah. as well. I mean, it's basically, if you guys don't really know what's happening, uh, your beast, everyone's connecting at once, and it's, you know, it's basically DDoSing the servers. So, you know, everyone just loves Dota too much. The good old, good old hug of death. Yeah. It's, it's great stuff. I mean, that's how you know that you're 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 in a top tier game, though. At least yeah, we have yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It also makes complete sense when they, you know, encourage the entire player base Whoa, to all log God, on at once. Geez, Let's stifle the flames for a bit now. I know, I, mean, I understand. No, I understand, dude. I I see where you're coming from here. I understand completely. <sighs> Yeah, sorry. Uh, I want to I want to thank everyone that has stuck with us since about 7:30 this this evening. For those of you that have, you you got a nice little playthrough of Super Metroid, at least part of one. Uh, I'm pretty terrible at the game, but that's okay. Yeah, we saw it, Mont. All right, dude. Just like your Counter Strike skills. Oh my God. Him. All right, here we go. Axe Dazzle Juggernaut Line. This is the last patch. This is no 6.83C. This is, in fact, the exact same thing we've been seeing for a long time now. Both Axe and Jug getting picked up here. Line, of course, the best support in the game by a wide margin. And then Dazzle for Isurus Gaming. Axe and Dazzle going pretty well together. You can't calling Blade if he's on your team. Throwing that out there. Greg, what do you think about the draft so far? Now, Travis, that was some excellent Five analysis. And, uh, you know, the other thing, we, we've been talking about this. The patch came out. Axe got adjusted. Axe is still a very, very strong initiator, I think. And Culling Blade, I think, uh, you know, the, the damage threshold moving down might make him a little bit more reasonable. But still quite the hero. Yeah. Still quite the performer. Yep. And uh, can definitely still bring the hype, bring the dunks. And, I, you know, I like Axe. Oh, he's I, amazing. Know, he's, he's great. That hero's great. great. I actually don't mind Juggernaut either. I think those two heroes are extraordinarily fun to watch. Yeah, Lion, another very, very popular support. If you've been living under a rock in the last month or two months, then maybe this is your Radiant first Lion game you've been that. seeing. But uh, just a really strong suite of disables. Two extremely powerful uh, disables. One instant, one that can hit multiple targets. Finger of Death, great nuke. Man and Drain, marginally useful. Makes him a little bit, uh, a little bit more sustainable Ten in lane. So, remaining. I just a strong hero, and you know there is downsides to line. Five His mobility remaining. is questionable. Uh, I mean, he's basically a slug with legs, so that's Reserve a huge problem time. for him. And he really benefits from an early blink dagger. So, I'll be interested, to, interested to see how they play the line. You know, some teams you see different supports, and so Vengeful Spirit. Versus a support like a Witch Doctor, and this is a game that in Dota Pit earlier, you know, the Witch Doctor was given to farm, but in this situation, I think we can expect that line to get an early Blink Dagger since the Vengeful Spirit, I mean, scales okay with items, but uh, much better at just roaming around, getting some early kills, getting Medallion, making it easier to Roshan, getting an Urn, stuff like that, mm -hmm. and then Lion really looking for that Blink Dagger ASAP. Yeah. Yeah, the thing, you're exactly right about getting an early blink dagger online. This guy can function literally on Tranquil Boots for the longest time until he gets like a 15-minute blink, and then all of a sudden he comes out of the shadows and just solo kills you. Yesterday or like two days ago or something, we saw like an 11 or 12-minute blink on a support line who had a really good time in lane, which is frightening to say the least. Um, hero's pretty good. That's what we're trying to say here. Hero's pretty strong compared or coupled rather with Eventual Spirit. That seems kind of broken. You have Wave of Terror for Juggernaut to work with an armor reduction and just a good hero in Venge. And then Line as your second support's pretty nice. So I really I, mean, I like Union Gaming's draft thus far. Yeah, Union Gaming just has a really solid draft. That's, I mean, that's all that's there it. is to say about it. It's yeah. just, you know, it's the good heroes from the last patch. There's nothing too surprising. Radiant uh, pick. I just, you know, I like it. It's stable. Shadow Demon, Dazzle Axe. This is one of the most frightening tri lands in Dota 2, if you've never had the pleasure of playing against it, it's... Uh, yeah, that sucks. It's horrifying. You get run at, uh, Axe gets on you, uh, Heal Bomb comes out, 
Yeah, I mean, dead. basically, you just get shadow. You get you know, shadow demon disrupts you. Yep. Axe walks up, calls yep. you, dazzle. Yep. Uses shadow wave, and yep. any hero on your team is instantly dead. It goes they just, through. They just die. Community, as long as you don't, as long as you time it correctly. Yep. Uh, you know, you'll be able to even kill the juggernaut. Yeah, that. that juggernaut there. He's blade fearing. He's still dead. He's just dead. <laughs> that's just that's it, man. It's just a very That's solid. It. Like the the European teams love to run this combo. These these three heroes specifically, Shadow Demon, Dazzle, and Axe together, and for good reason. And how they they just run at people and they kill you. You're just dead at that point. It's just nothing you can do in that situation. Union Game is going for the Storm Spirit now. I do want to mention uh, the player without a name on Union Gaming, which of course is blank. Uh, his name is blank or Sora. If you're an anime fan from NGNL, uh, he's yeah, quite the player. I mean, it's just way too hard to type in that name. It can't be inconvenienced, so, you know. Well, it's a... It's it's, no, 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 no. It's actually, like, it's a shout-out to the end. You wouldn't understand. I'm not even going to try to explain it to you. I wouldn't understand, Travis. I'm sorry. Never mind. I mean, no, you, I'm Greg, no, you wouldn't. I'm just casual flames, and it's just, you know, that one backfired. You're so salty, dude. I was salty earlier. <laughs> You're salty now. Listen, we got to... Oh, let's take man. the salt down a notch, right? I got to say, though, I've been... Templar Assassin. Oh, boy. It's a good hero. Isterus, they've got a very clear game plan here. They're going to try to win the lanes, and then they're going to try to just roll over Union Gaming before this Juggernaut has any items, before the Storm Spirit can really do anything. They don't want the Juggernaut to get farmed. They don't want that Storm Spirit to get the Orchid. They just want to destroy with an aggressive tri lane, get Templar Assassin, you know, some items. Templar Assassin is pretty flexible. It could go for, like, Five Desolator, Blink remaining. Dagger, BKB are all reasonable uh, as first, second items, so... Some options there, but Reserve they've got a lot of, you know, just call plus seconds. disruption mm -hmm. is pretty decent for Templar Assassin mm -hmm. to land a couple good meld strikes. Radiant so team. I like where Estoros is going with this lineup. It's definitely ballsy. I, I can't tell whose lineup I like more right now. They're both so appetizing at this point. The Storm Spirit is good uh, if you can get like an Orchid up really early on. You, this reminds me, when we, there's this point in time, we, we, talked, we talked about Storm for. A while with uh, I think Steven at ESL you were there probably and he's just like I wish my team would let me farm so I could farm up an orchid seconds, and then we could just run at people because he said that if you don't get an orchid or if you don't have an orchid you can't really fight and I think that's the that's the benchmark for the hero. on storm yeah uh, I mean you definitely can't that hero is useless or like bloodstone orchid. bloodstone yeah. or orchid bloodstone or I mean you need one of the mana regeneration items you need to increase your mana pool uh, you know it, it you just you benefit from it hugely he's not a ganking middle most of the time with a really really good rune he can really well execute ganks but in the for the most part honestly he's most self-interested in farming that orchid as fast as possible right and then you move on from there or that you know or that bloodstone orchid much more popular in the pro scene mm -hmm. uh but you you just want to get that one item and then you can go nuts you can go absolutely ham and then you become a gank machine you can easily initiate on a hero like templar assassin you can definitely initiate on these supports shadow demon and dazzle yeah. acts a little bit more difficult a lot more tanky but yeah. there's already three pretty appetizing targets if storm spirit does get that orchid uh, i like this draft until i saw the darks here and then i'm kind of like eh, maybe i mean like the vacuum juggernaut omni slash combo is pretty solid with a nice earth spike on top of it but like i'm not sure Dark Seer is a hero that requires a lot of room, a lot of farm, a lot of experience specifically. You talk about Dark Seer like level 9, 10, and 11. Those are the hero those are the levels you're looking for on this hero. Um Dark Seer does require some space. You know, I'm a little worried about Union Gaming's lineup in that regards. I mean, seconds, Dark Seer just doesn't really do that much in the earlier parts of the game. Remaining. No. Yeah, he just farms he needs time. Yeah. Storm Spirit needs some time. Yeah. However, they do have the Ventral Spirit and the Lion to create Five some space here. But remaining. the biggest thing I'm worried about is, you know, they've got these two supports to create space. But on the other side, what if Isris just directs those supports, makes them level Wait. one at like two or three minutes just from getting killed in lane? Then things could really fall out of control for Union Gaming. Isris could just roll over them. Clockwork will help them play this really aggressive game that they seem to be interested in doing. Isris, this is balls out, man. This is some... Do you think this is this an aggro trial from Isaurus? I would not be surprised. I mean, when you and see the axe and shadow demon combo, that's I mean, like, that's the, it. What's the point? What's the point of going up against the Darkseer? Like, with their lineup, I think yeah. they want to push underneath the Darkseer timing. You yeah. know, they want to push before that Darkseer has level 11. So they can put the clockwork there. That is a very bad lane for the clockwork, though. Yeah. So yep. maybe not. I mean, maybe it's possible shadow demon and dazzle even just roam a little bit, but. I would not I, be surprised to see this be an aggressive trial. I agree with your first sentiment in saying that uh, it's going to be that trial. And I just don't see, like, 
Shutting down the Juggernaut is not impossible to do, even with Blade Fury. Like, this is a, this is Definitely a set of heroes not. that will be able to destroy them completely yeah. in lane. It I mean, actually comes down to the way damage, Union lane this. So. Yeah. We'll see I, how it I goes. Agree. It looks like they're interested in possibly dodging if there's an aggressive trial lane here, yeah, which yeah. I think is a good move. It, basically, your best, your best plan here is to just try to make sure that Isaris does not get, like, a million kills with whatever they decide to lane this as, you know? If you can keep them to one, even two kills, then you're probably doing okay. But, yeah. you know, it's going to get scary if they get three, four, five kills. These supports become higher levels. Dazzle can just walk around with Shadow Demon and just start solo killing people. Yeah. So that's definitely the worry. They're definitely going to dodge this, though, for sure. They already sent the Darkshire bottom with a ward. They're going to go aggro tri lane. Well, aggro tri lane in the sense that they want to dodge the uh, tri lane coming out from Isuru, so... This is a smart play, so Isurus will waste a bit of time shutting down the da uh, the Darkseer in this bottom lane, but for the most part, this is a really good decision from Union Gaming, I think. Oh god, please! Please! I can't- I can't handle Alright, Mott, you know <sighs> what to do! <sighs> Alright, everybody. There's been two pauses. Of course, that is an addendum to the rule of Dota 2 Canada Cup. Take a shot when there's a pause, take a shot when the servers are down. Everybody, it's time to go. Not that I, you know, I'm just not condoning that, but, you know, it's just sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You're definitely condoning that. I don't know what you're talking about, Mott. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Well, all right, TA's going to go for, okay, by the way, I should talk about this. Uh, Union Gaming yesterday, they had Zetok pool their Templar Assassin in that game, who is, in this game is the Storm Spirit, a full bottle, all right? Just let me say that again. The Triant Protector was Zetok, the blue player. And he literally saved up 700 gold at the beginning of the game. He just saved an extra 50 since the start of the game. And he bought the blank player a bottle. That blows my mind that that happened. But there it is. I mean, that's that's the next level tactic. Dota 2. Who knows? Who am I to judge, Mont? Uh, I'm not going to answer that question. All right. Who am I? Wow. For some reason, it just said you can't use pile of coal right now. I don't know what button <laughs> I press, but it's certainly not the right time to be using that. No, it definitely is not. It's, uh, it is new bloom time, my friend. If you have any new bloom items, go ahead and use them. The Ear Beast, which I don't even know what that entails at this point. I haven't yet I to know, play the game. But... It sounds like you get a six hero on your team. Yes, that's actually what it does sound like. Apparently, it doesn't have magic immunity, though. That's kind of the issue. I actually kind of want to play that game, but also at the same time, I'm just yeah, like... I don't. Valve servers right now, not good. Maybe I'll wait like a year to play that game and it'll be good, but um, just play regular Dota or not play Dota at all for that matter. Play more Super Metroid. Apparently, we have a Nahidara, Nahidara 700 MS pin coming out right now, so that's a bit of an issue. Um, that's something you'd like to see fixed before you start playing the Dota game. Really, Mott? Yeah. It's a bit of an issue? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Well, Does that qualify as a Mott node or... <sighs> I don't need your shit today, Greg. <laughs> Just don't need it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have Dota 2 Canada Cup going on right now. Of course, we talked about what was going to happen if um, the Valve servers kind of went to shit. Um, we're actually going to reschedule the two last games, I believe, with Isurus versus Ehug and Union Gaming versus Wheel. So we're deciding at what time to play those games. I'm not sure if they've actually been penciled in. They haven't. Um, so we'll, we'll figure that out in the near future. We talked about maybe Isurus versus Ehug getting played tomorrow afternoon. Uh, Union Gaming versus Wheel. I'll be available all day, so I'll be casting all of the Dota 2 Canada Cup possible at this point. Um, he's restarting connection. The admin is un undoubtedly praying to the Valve Gods at this point, which I don't blame him. This has been a long day, and he has reconnected. We might have a game on our hands, Greg. We might just have it. Ladies and gentlemen, 54 seconds before the game has even started, and we're already having issues. Uh, make sure you guys follow us. Check out dota2.ca for more information. By the way, I kind of got ahead of myself, but we actually have a giveaway for the Steel Series rival. Steel Series, kind enough to go ahead and um, make sure they sponsor us. So make sure you check out Dota2 Canada Cup or Dota2 Canada on Twitter at Dota2 Canada. Go ahead and retweet that post. Also follow and Dota follow them Canada. absolutely, and you will be you eligible can win for that. Steel Series yeah, rival. Did you go over what it was? I honestly just yes. stopped listening. Steel Series rival. Okay. Yeah, and that comes with that sweet Doom sword, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's 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 pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm in the market guys, for a new mouse. You missed the Steel Series headset, which gave the Scythe of Vice in game item, which is like ten times better. You already have one. Can yeah. you give it to me? Uh, no. Okay. Well, whatever, dude. 
I'm not gonna buy you a dragon lore. I see how it is. <laughs> Wait, you're buying me a dragon lore? Shh, shh, shh. No, definitely not. Oh, wow. Actually, no, That's not, very I, generous of you. I'm not more. actually buying you a dragon lore. <laughs> well, four gathered up here at the top ruin for Union Gaming, and uh, the level one, the you know, I was gonna say games. some bad words there, but I avoided it. The level one it's cluster tremendous. is just, it's a thing now, and I kind of love it. You know, it's stupid. Yeah. It's stu It's definitely, you know, the definition of basically full retard, but sometimes you see the most awesome fights at level one over these runes because well, I think that's exciting, they give though. you a huge advantage. Yeah. So they're worth fighting over, and I like it. You know, I like I like some early game, uh, some early game little little toughs. Were you watching tips. that NIP versus fire game? <laughs> yeah. This five morning? kills. Yeah, the five kills at <laughs> like before the zero minute mark. That was amazing. We need to see way more of that. And I think that because of this patch, that's why that happens. It's actually incredible. I love every single part of it. Um, just the aggressive nature of this patch is good. But that's like the only aggressive part of it because you'll see teams still farm up, wait for like 10 minutes to start initiating and start to fight. But um, that aggressive nature coming out of the zero minute rune is quite exciting to watch. We don't have that this game. This game is going to be some farming until either Trilane rotates out of their current situation, which will probably be the bottom Trilane. They realize they're against Dark Who, by the way, they're standing right on top of this Radiant Observer Ward. I see us. They have no idea. So that means Greedy just sits back. He's not being greedy. He'll throw up an Iron Shell occasionally. In fact, he throws one on the Dire Melee Creep and actually pushes the wave back out. He'll get some CS from it as well, but Pita might start diving the lane. The consolation prize for Isurus is they get an early tower because of creep cutting, but they don't get that aggressive trial where they're just killing every single hero for Union at this point. I think that we're going to see the Shadow Demon rotate out of this lane. I'm not sure if the Dazzle is going to go with him. They might want to keep the Dazzle in lane to make sure the Axe can keep cutting creeps, but definite possibility here we see rotation towards the mid lane since uh, Axe doesn't really need help against the Darkseer, but it would be nice for this Templar Assassin to get a kill up against the storm spirit uh this should be a fairly a mostly even lane it can get a little hectic for storm spirit mm -hmm. get a little hectic for templar assassin just depending on player skill uh if the templar assassin is not careful and you get pulled bad bad things can happen but uh as long as you stay back abuse side blades to get last hits and put damage onto the storm spirit it's a it's a fairly even lane. Perhaps maybe uh, tilted a little bit towards the TA. Obviously, refraction is yeah, very good against Storm exactly. Spirit as well. I think it, it's it comes down to refraction usage. If you screw up your refraction skill in this lane, then you have a good chance of maybe getting out laned. But for the most part, you have a slight advantage, like you talked about, to the TA. Um, TA will also have rune control. I think movement speed wise, it's about equal. Three hundred five to what does the Storm have currently? Three forty. Yeah, okay, maybe it's a bit favored in the Storm of Spirit. But for now, we have well, to really keep tabs. Yet. Yeah, that's Storm true. Storm boots, so... That's the difference maker. But that was, like, perfect there by uh, by DDX. He, he uses the refraction and is able to stop both the remnant and the overload, which is pretty much Storm's primary tool for harassing you. I mean, he wants to be able to hit you with overload. Top lane, though, they're going on Dolce. Clockwork stuck there. Oh, a what a disruption! disruption though. Nahydra. Oh, my God, is he not going to die? He's going to self. He's going to throw out a flare as well. They won't get a return kill, but that TP from the Hydra. And you called it. You said the Shadow Demon wasn't going to stay in that bottom lane. He does rotate up. He might rotate back down well, to that Venge bottom lane. Back. but Venge is coming bottom, though. This could this could ruin things. Although, this Venge does have to be very careful. She's short range. HP. There's Shadow Weave. And oh, without Shadow Weave, I'm not sure they can turn this. Fullback in some trouble. He has Grave. He's going to use it on himself. Now the Berserker's Call is available. Greedy is just trying to juke as best as possible. And Fullback's just trying to get away. Wave. Shadow Wave is going to go. He's still alive. Battle Hunger now done on Z Talk. Pepita's still running at him. No counter Helix procs at all for Pepita. You've got to yes. be kidding me. That RNG not in his favor. And by the way, Fullback did deny himself to a neutral creep so he could head it back home a bit quicker. There's going to be another Battle Hunger going into Z Talk. He's going to get surged away. He gets body blocked, but he's going to look to go back in. Disruption coming oh, up from the Hydra. Now the surge is done. Ball. They didn't get, they did not get the Soul Catcher onto the right target. Zetox still might live. If that Soul Catcher are connected, they get that kill. The amplification at level one is 20%. That would have been so much damage uh, coming in, but he just missed the Soul Catcher. Travis, that was the land of missed opportunities, man. For every team, it every feels like. Every team. The one, the one kill on the board, that's a deny to neutral creeps. Yeah. Still, first blood waiting to happen despite that extremely aggressive move there by both team. I mean, you you said it, Vengeful Spirit definitely would have died there. A little bit more mana for Axe. I think they would have gotten like another call off, and that would have been someone dead as well. So, very, very close. A close shave in the top lane, and man, both teams really, really fighting for it here. Axe is like praying to Valve at this point. Can I get some counter helix procs, please? Yeah, that was fairly ridiculous. Can I get anything going my way? Any RNG at all would be great, so... 
Ice Frog certainly not with him today. Uh, he does have the high CS. When he got but... it. And uh, when when that fight happened, that's 135 damage to spin. Yeah. And they all had like 250 health, so they would have died. You know, two easily. spins dead. Yep. The other thing, Axe just got a huge, huge camp. Now he has Tranquil Boots, 1400 gold. That's annoying. A salve gets canceled. Not a huge deal. Tranquil still regening up here. This axe is off to a very, very good start. Look at the Hydra taking this game. Running in. Nidra. They have surge Moving available. Forward. And Hydra in some trouble. Look at that damage Graves coming in. They're going to use the grave, though. Zetok is going to run away. And Hydra is all the way down low. He has boots. He will be able to get away from Greedy for the time being. Fullback might not be so lucky. In fact, Wave of Tears is going to go with a right click from Greedy. That is your first blood at five minutes. Despite everything that has happened, that is your first oh, blood. Oh, he's running at the Venge. Clockworks rotated down. The Dark Seer's here as well. He needs to take some hits. Nope. Oh, There's here's the lion. It's going to scare up a penis. Here he is. Axe. And he has. Oh, he has amazing impale. He had call there, too. That double earth spike could have been just. It was exactly what they needed. If they didn't get that off, then boom. Axe comes in, gets one kill at the very least. Maybe a second as well if he's not careful. But that earth spike from Zinn rolls. Perfect. What a rotation. Perfect, perfect play there by him, saving his teammates. Now that puts Union Gaming in a decent spot. Two kills up. Well, one kill up, I suppose, but this is a, it's a decent start for them. Yeah, this is... Uh, Union Gaming do have the high CS for the Axe. TA is winning mid by a small margin. Double damage runes pinged out by the Dolce Mania clockwork. People have been trying to tell me how to pronounce his name. Uh, as far as I know, that's Dolce. Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, in Spanish, that's Dolce, yeah. Thank you. I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but... I'm See, there. I trust you on this and one, I mean, man. you know that I'd flame the living hell out of you. It was wrong, so... That's true. You would. Greg does not I'm, let me I'm have anything. I'm an honest man. He's very honest. Almost too honest to a certain I'm extent. honest man, you know? <laughs> he likes the simple things. Honesty being one of them. Blink dagger done for the axe. Now, that is a six and a half minute, six and a half minute blink tranquil boots axe. Now, the question is, what item do you go for next? Crimson Guard up against this team could be very solid for the axe, I think. This could be a good Crimson Guard game if he wants to go for it. Yeah, this this could definitely work for him. Uh, Storm Spirit's getting some good, okay space. I mean, he has treads. Uh, I assume that there's a bottle on the courier. Plus, oh, plus a soul ring. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, is he have treads yet? He does. Okay, so he's actually yeah, he's, he's on a very good track right now. Yeah, this is decent. I mean, Templar Assassin fairly even as well. Thirteen hundred golds, and I'm interested to see what she does save up for. Look at this. Look at this gang. Oh, oh Berserker's boy. call. Goodbye, Blank. You are in trouble. That Earth Spike, though, actually saves his life. Are you kidding me, Zinderals? I thought he was dead for sure. Now they're going to counter initiate. Papita in trouble. Amazing. This ball of lightning coming in. This Storm of Spirit. Odd point. DDX does have a DD and refraction. They will get one kill. It's a one for one trade, but ball lightning to the low ground. Storm on the wrong side of the river. He's going to try to run away. He is looking for any way to juke. He's going to go back to the high ground. Maybe he's going to right click the Hydra once. Dolce Media going toe to toe. DDX has the DD. He wants to stay away from him. They're trying to get the high ground here now with maybe the ball lightning. He is going to do so, but he has no TP. He will buy. He might think himself to the tower. He's going to go all the way around. He actually might live. Meanwhile, disruption in the Hydra. He's getting chased down by Greedy, who has no surge for six seconds. And they're going to try to turn this. DD, though. Oh, that middle strike, though. Chunks. Greedy? Yeah. Okay, you're fine. He's, he should be fine. Yeah. There's not a, not a level in Poison Touch. No slow there. What a fight. How does that happen? Yeah, this has been a crazy game this far, and... Well, they made us wait two hours for it, so it's pretty good. Certainly, I had expectations. Ben Haas, 68 CS, quietly is leading the net worth, or the uh, the CS chart here. Also, the net worth 600 ahead of the axe. Mid lane, though, they're moving on to DDX. He gets pulled without fraction. His charges are gone. Iron Shell doing work there. Now Dolce Mania is coming in, but it's too late, and unfortunately, he is not able to connect. Only level five still does not have hook shot. Really, would love to get that online. Ben Haas is looking for an opportunity to use his Omni Slash on Pita, but that's not going to happen. Uh, really good rotation on that mid lane. Killing DDX is huge for Union Gaming right now. So, not only do they have the super farm Juggernaut, but they're going to have the Storm Spirit who's pretty farmed to a certain extent as well. Uh, Darkseer is level 8. He's getting there. Again, we talked about it. 9, 10, 11. Generally, 11 is what you want to have, obviously, but... Um, yeah. He, he's he's okay. He's got a mech, pretty much, with the exception of the recipe. 
This uh, this game has changed a lot, though, now that Fapita has this call there. They move on to Ben Haz. Do they have enough damage to bring him down? A good Vengeful Spirit's done. Oh, nice That's going to slow slash. this down a little bit. He's so close to being able to be called. There it is. Dunked. Take him down. Unfortunately, the Axe going to fall as well to the Vengeful Spirit now. Clockwork chasing him under the tower. Gets brought down. Good use of battery assault Ooh, there. No one else around. And Storm Spirit comes oh, in. He's going to be able to ball lightning. Rip. Dolce is... Uh, oh! oh. Fullback comes out of seemingly nowhere. Very, and very good play there by that the Fullback. That Storm Spirit gets nothing out of that TP to the top lane, except for a couple of creeps yeah. here and there. But He also used basically all of his mana in that, too, so that's actually a pretty big deal. Jug did it get it. Jug got a kill before he died to the Axe's Coin Blade. Axe did die to the Vengeful Spirit, so in terms of a trade, probably favors Isurus just a bit. Uh, but Yoon Gaming are certainly not too upset with that. Oh, but the Storm Room Spirit gets a regen rune. The best Storm Room in the Storm Room in the game by far, I'd say. Well, at least early yeah, on in the game. It's definitely very good. I mean, it's good at all points in the game. Yeah. Unless you take really long initiations. Oh, oh if he dies, oh, yeah. he's called. He's dead. Goodbye. This is the Blink Dagger on the Axe. This is the risk you run when you get that farmed. And Ben has. He's still a kill with that Omni Slash. How does that yeah. happen? Mask of Madness, bro. I guess so. Run him down. It just what seems like it shouldn't happen. Do? Yeah, I mean, not be do? in that situation. Touch, you can't slow him down. Don't be no, not near a tower. He has 355 move speed. So does Jug with phase boots on. He has 411, so yeah. he just probably got run down. If you if you have a tower there, your your friend TP's in, and that dive doesn't happen, or that long extended initiation. Um, if he had Omni Slash, then I can understand that, but he had zero Omni Slash. And Dazzle didn't grave? He did, but what? Okay. Yeah, he needed to be near a tower. Top tower is Meanwhile, Storm TP's back in the mid lane. Dolce Mania is nearby. He is hooked shot, but Storm is not the best target to go on. He actually hooks towards the Vengeful Spirit. Zeta getting called out. Now the swap out onto Storm. Storm will ball lightning away. Nice play coming out from Union, but the double Berserker's call coming in. And Zidrolls will get a triple R spike in, and actually they do secure the kill on Storm regardless. He talks going to try to deny himself. He will not make it. Chilling Blade goes, and the chop goes in. Greedy now in trouble as well. And I assume it's our overrunning. Union gave me the double chop coming in from Pepita. Ooh, he's feeling it right now. They're feeling it. They're going to push into the tier one tower and take down this nice little building. Yeah, man, it feels so good getting those early game chops. He's getting a huge advantage from this now four and two And he is gonna continue tanking. There it looks is. like he probably crimson will go guard. for that crimson guard. Ugh, yes That's that's the that's the correct item to go for in this situation as the axe. Yeah, I admire feels, the choice. Feels good. It definitely feels good and uh this axe has to be happy with how things are going. I think this is what you really want yeah. with the axe. You get the fast blink dagger and then immediately a call to action if you will. Ben Haas. Anything? Yes, no. Slash. You didn't even like my pun. You know I'm sorry. Travis? I was. Uh, you know what? I, it I went said over it was my a head. Call to action. Oh. Yeah. Whatever, dude. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't have laughed at it regardless. Okay. Yeah. Fine. I'll remember that. Listen, man. You just. You gotta step up your game, dude. This is how it is. <laughs> I'm no mop packs of jokes. You are no mop. All right. Listen, that guy's a legend. I don't know if you know this. Rip mop packs not being here tonight. I'm not sure what happened, but it happened. He's in a cottage in Canada. Really. Yeah, that's a real thing. I'm not kidding. He's in Canada for the Canada Cup. Wow. Well, no, he. I mean, he lives in Canada. <laughs> he lives in Canada. We missed a kill. Dulce made it. Why are people dying top? Why is this happening? Got hook shotted. Yeah. Unfortunate. I mean, if you're lying, lying way out. There's, there's no other creeps to absorb battery assault. You just die. Nothing I mean, he's also there. only level five. Bottom lane, Storm boost. Spirit. Oh my God, is he gonna die? Storm Spirit solo picked with all of his mana. At the very end, there was a there was a shadow wave there. I'm not sure how much that contributed, but. But Pita, man, he's going ham. Axe, good hero. Solid hero. Good stuff. DDX is going to head to Roche. By the way, he doesn't have treads. He went for the Hand of Midas, so he has some attack speed, but... I'm surprised he didn't go build. treads. I, he I think, usually go I treads think, first, I think, right? I think Hand of Midas is insanely good on this hero. Yeah, but you go, tra you go Hand of Midas, or you go treads first, right? I mean, like, a lot of the time? I guess, but, I like, so. the thing is that he doesn't need to create space because they have an axe. That's true. But I just think treads are better because you just stay alive longer, you do more damage, especially to Roshan with utility treads. I mean, it doesn't matter. They kill it so quickly anyways that it doesn't really matter. He's got it. I, you know, I wonder if he's going to go for a straight blink next. I, it's, it's, it certainly seems like he's saving up for something. Uh, alliteration aside, blink <laughs> seems to be a good choice. But I think I just treads, man. It's a good item on this hero. Or phase. I don't... Treads is generally what I prefer more, but... 
It depends on the situation. Union Gaming are going to run down mid. They're like, we need to get some towers. We need to get some space to work with here. They have the level 2 Omni Slash. That's what they're trying to fight with. But Axe has been doing so much work. They have to be careful. He's a Vanguard now. He's not going Crimson Guard. He has the Staff of Wizardry. So he, he's just stopping at Vanguard for the time being. Hookshot oh, misses. Hook shot. That's a problem. They're going to Omni Slash going in. Blade Mail is not going to help there. They will get the Grave off the Disruption as well. Pupita is already dead. What a fight for Union so far. Dolce Mini about to fall. He's going to go down. He does get his cogs off. Meanwhile, DDX is trying to fight alone. Three heroes dead already. Might lose four if they're not capable. Buyback from Pupita. They have to back if you're a Union. What a time to back. Such a smart play. That TP was such a long duration as well. And in fact, oh, look at Blake. He's almost going to get a Hydra. And he gets the kill. He avoids the Berserker's call. What a triple kill from Blake from Sora. Oh, my God. Meanwhile, Greedy's back in the fray. Level 10. No wall replica. Swap out onto DDX. Call's going to go. And it'll save the life of Greedy. But there's going to be no, Aegis going down. Misses the call. But Pepita does get the double kill. Will fall in the end. What a fight. Greedy's going to surge out. DDX still chasing onto Z-Talk. He probably will fall. He has Magic Missile. He's going to maybe use it. Does pop it off, but he should still die regardless. Weave's going to come out. They all have vision of him. Trap's going to go. Oh, that Hex might have just saved his life. He'll try to juke into the trees. He's actually going to live. Rocket what player? a fight. Four seconds. Not enough to kill him, I don't think. What happened? Oh. All right, if I recap, this is your time to shine. <laughs> come on. Get up here. Okay, they're not gonna. It's not gonna. It's already been used. I'm sure. It's on, dude. It's on. Well, that's a blink dagger for DDX, and Isaris gonna continue to be on the aggressive here. But you see what happens when Juggernaut gets a good Omni off. Axe dies at the beginning of the fight. Huge advantage there for Isaris, or for Union Gaming rather. Isaris relying on the Axe to really make these fights happen. I think that that second initiation from Union was a bit too much. If they had just backed at that point. I think they get a lot more out of that fight. I mean, you don't get that second axe kill. You don't get the whatever, the Hydra kill. But they'll smoke up. They're going to run right into Dolce Media. Do they have detection? Yep. They're going to find him. Ah, that's fine, I guess. Nice presence of mind to make sure you drop that dust as quickly as possible. And they did so. Yeah, and I mean, honestly, Ben Haas is scary now. I think it's going to come down to the engagements. If Isaris can, can, can catch Ben Haas, then I think instantly Isaris will destroy the fight. But if Ben Haas does get off that Omni Slash and a couple of right clicks, then it's going to be hard for Isaris, I think. Radiance bottom tower. Ben Haas no pressure, tower. Pepita. Yes. Just all on you. I mean, when you pick an axe, it generally is. They're going to find Storm, who's farming a bit precarious. Oh, he just died to Mount Strike. Goodbye. Oh, my God. He got two shot. Zetox should get chased down. He is. That'll help. Nice Dyer's usage of that demonic purge. Fallen. Vacuum coming in. Big Earth Spike. Omni Slash going through. This could be the fight. They finger up DDX. Fullback still alive. Cogs are going to go through. Fullback will fall to the right click of Ben Haas. It's a two for one trade thus far. Melt Strike DDX actually out of a fraction. Pepita looking to jam it in, but he can't get it done. Ben Haas with the triple kill. What a vacuum. What an Earth Spike combo. They're not done yet. They're chasing after Dolce Mania. And he's still in some trouble. Oh, the cogs! The phase from Ben Haas gets there in time. Still chasing. Dolce Media has no cogs for 10 seconds. Battery Soul's gonna go. He Blade Fury's out of it. The ultra kill for your juggernaut. Back and forth we go, ladies and gentlemen. I think that we're gonna be heading on the Union Gaming train, though, for the rest of the game, to be honest. I mean, this juggernaut is becoming an enormous problem now. 3,000 gold. Whoever he decides to go from here, he has a huge advantage now. I mean... Honestly, the last couple of fights, Axe has been pretty ineffective. They've gotten caught in some really bad engagements. Vacuum into Omni Slash with an Earth Spike in there as well. Certainly not where you want to be in team fights when you're trying to be the initiator. Just an impressive set of plays coming out from Union Gaming. That oh God, dude, that Vacuum Earth Spike was so good. We talked about it in the draft, and I was just like, oh, maybe happen. Destroys everyone. Oh, my Lord. They could have even gotten more kills had fullback, net, fullback not graved himself early on in that fight. And just like that, it becomes a game where, like you talked about, this Juggernaut's going to take over this game. He goes for the Manta style. So, pretty solid choice this game. Um, I, I'm not particularly I like enthused by more. it. I think SMI is better this game. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not. Yeah, I mean, the, the Manta, like, I guess it helps him bring the game later you know if, if the game does go later he'll be a little bit better positioned so i don't know it's fine match is never really a terrible item i don't think on 
uh, on the juggernaut, but I don't really see what it really helps him accomplish. That's my only thing. I guess it will maybe help against the axe if he gets a Manta off. And I don't know. It depends. I mean, it, honestly, it all depends on what his item build is from here. Top lane. Zindral's greedy and Zidzak maybe looking to Radiance top tower is under defend attack. their T1 tower under the top lane. Finally, DDX is treads, thank God. But they're they're forcing this right now, and I don't know if they should be. Storm still doesn't have an Orchid, by the way, Radiant which is surprising considering his team has been winning. He'll Shut get up. it finally. Actually, just needs the Sage's Mask. He actually doesn't have it yet. So, this game is going to start slowing down, I think, until maybe Isurus want to go again, or Union for that matter. Well, I mean, what... Asuras are kind of in a... They're a little, a little stuck right now, Travis. They, don't they are a little carry. stuck. I mean, they have the Crimson Guard coming up, and I suppose they can wait for the next Roshan, but if they get the next if they get the next Roshan and then lose the next fight, this game's over. Yeah, I there's no way, agree with you. There's no way that at that point they'll be able to bring it back. I mean, you look at Union's lineup, we talked about how Asuras needed to be aggressive, needed to snowball, but now they've started to falter. TA needed to snowball, and she's just not doing that with the Splink Tagger. And Zetok's going to find Fullback. Ball letting in. Fullback is uh, he's dead. And Hydra is maybe in trouble as well. Swap out. Magic Missile might go. He actually just on cooldown. Earth Spike comes in. Just sublime play coming out from Union right now. They spot out two heroes. They get quick kills. I mean, they're only supports, but that, that's, that's exactly the play you need to make in that situation. And they make it. And they're going to go for the 2 2 tower now in the mid lane. And, and this is where the match style is kind of nice. I mean, you can just pull the creeps away from the tower. You can scout a little bit as well. Make sure they do get the proper engagement here. That's actually a pretty big deal. And Isaris looks like they've pretty much forfeited everything. Probably up until this next Roshan. As well as the Crimson Guard being completed. Which it now is completed. It's on the way out on that Vigilante Fox. I mean, the problem with the Crimson Guard is like, it's good against the Juggernaut, but the Storm is going to be starting a problem here with his, you know, spell usage, his Orchid, his Ball Lightning, his Overload, more importantly than anything else, but... It's tough. It's really going to be hard for them to take this next Roshan. They have to get a pick if you're Ice Supers Gaming. Otherwise, this is not going to happen. And if you don't get Rosh, then you're in trouble. Like, it's just like you said, I mean, this, this is... This is do or die for I serious, I think, in the next couple of minutes. Roche will respawn in one minute. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I think respawn timer. most of the time when you have a TA like this, if you're behind, then you're in trouble. I mean, clockwork, pretty similar. Hook shotting into the enemy team is not very good when your team's underformed and can't kill the person you hook shot on, you know? Mm -hmm. So, Isris is in a little bit of a predicament right now. They definitely, I would agree, need a pick off. They need to... Secure this next Roshan. It's a huge, huge deal for them. Luckily, they do have Trap, which does make it a little bit easier for them, so. Middle lane. Greedy. Gonna rotate. He actually has a lot of farm now. Mech plus a four staff coming up pretty soon. Pita is gonna go ahead and just take some more ancients. He's actually almost level 16, so he'll have his level 3 ult. The 400 kill threshold, which they changed after the patch. But he's definitely slowed down. He has also gone for this four staff. The four staff seems to be much more popular, at least in my limited observation since the patch, rather than going right for the Aghanim Scepter. Uh, kind of an interesting little adjustment there. And now we're just waiting, I think, for this Roshan to respawn. I'm also interested to see how much Union Gaming puts into this Roshan. You know, how much do they want it? Are they going to keep the Vengeful Spirit in the area and continue sh Wave of Tearing over it? I mean, you have to think that Union Gamer are comfortable with their chances in the pit. I mean, they have a yeah. Darks here. Yeah. I don't see why you let this go at this point in the game. It just, it would give another, it would give something else to a Subarus that they just don't need in this situation. And Union, if they take this, they probably just end up winning. I, I don't know. This is, I think you have to keep, keep at least one hero over at Union. Do or die, Travis. Yeah, exactly. Dyer's do or die. Union attack. Gaming, are they going to, are they going to let them fortified. get this, Roshan, is my question. I mean, hmm. The Dire, I think, now are aware that it's up. They have a trap in the pit. Yeah, they can see it. And uh, they're just... Has been denied. They have to pick their spot here very carefully because if Union Gaming know this is happening, this is going to be a disaster. Well, they're going to try to take down the Tier 1 tower bottom. You know, theore theoretically, you'd like to have both of those towers. The outer tower is gone. So, number one, you'd have all the ta outer towers killed. And number two, you don't have easy access to Roshan if you're Isurus. 
Blank Berserker's call is going to go in. Zinros is going to get ganked. That's a huge pickoff. Hookshot's going to miss on the greedy. That could have been big. He'll blink and away. Losing that hex is kind of a big deal. That's one of your ways to deal with the axe when he blinks in. Yep. And shift queued up when he comes in. He gets hexed. Doesn't get the call. Up. There's the call onto the Storm Spirit. Oh, oh, he's still alive. They need to kill him. Now the healing ward is just going to go to work here on the Storm Spirit. Oh, Omni and Slash, DX. but it gets blocked. DDX Goodbye. is still dead. They dusted before the Omni, so he's dead. That's a bigger target than the Lion is. Pipita is looking to jump back in. TP coming out for Dolce Meta. He will make it out alive because there was no Omni Slash available for Ben Haas. This is bad news, though. No TA means no Roche. And Union thought for a second, like, hey, we can take this now. They definitely they considered it. But then there's still the threat of, you know, Axe blinking, calling, screwing up everything. Yep. Uh, Darkseer, he actually has a fair amount of mana here. Darkseer, Darkseer's had enough time where he's now going to be very, very effective. He has Blink Dagger, he has a Force Staff, he has a Mechanism as well. So he's got all the tools he needs to fight in this mid-game. TA Replicate and Axe Replicate seem pretty scary. Everything else not so much, but those two specifically. I think, honestly, it's just the Vacuum into Earth Spike. Yeah, that's what we saw earlier on in the game. That was that's pretty, nice. that's a pretty, pretty rough, I mean... That coupled with, uh, you know, especially Omni Slash bounces around a lot. But if you're in like the pit or something, you'll you'll kill someone. Someone will definitely die, and then you'll come out swinging. The rest of your team will be ready to go. And then we've got this. That's not even including the Storm Spirit, who's now building a Bloodstone. He pretty much has for it. that snowball build. And then also Ben Haas is a Scotty, by the way, a full Scotty, which he'll what? complete. Yep. Oh, okay, that's casual. Well, he actually needs the Orb of Venom, but he still has a full Scotty. I mean, that's base. <laughs> Fairly insignificant cost in the. How do you big kill picture. him now? Like he, he's. I don't uh, know if he's killable. I don't think you can. Shadow Demon is gonna go down here. He's got a solo kill. Oh, come yeah, on, he got fingered. I mean, he'll probably die for it, for it. No way he's making it out of this one. Cole. Way too much mana to mana drain him. Cole. Hello. Raffle. He's gonna die to battle hunger. <laughs> I don't know about that TP. That was interesting. Nice hook shot. That was uh, that was entertaining at least. <laughs> this this uh. His clockwork is not having a good time this game. He's he's missed no. a couple. He's missed two or three at least. Dolce Mania. Yeah, I mean he's gotten one solo kill from it. He's gotten a couple of kills. He did really really well in the earlier parts of the game with battery salt, making sure he took really good engagements with that. But right. now with his team sort of falling behind, I think he's relying on that axe to t take over the fights after he hook shots in. That's not really happening to be honest. Ta looking a little under farmed as well. Just the Yasha treads now with the blink dagger. I mean blink dagger is nice for the positioning, but. Again, like when you blink into the enemy team and they all have more money, and you know, when there's a juggernaut that has more money than you, if he lives through that initial little gambit, gets a healing ward down, gets an Omni Slash, you are done. Where did they smoke, by the way? They didn't smoke up on the high ground here. They smoked in the middle. I think it was like over here. Yeah, I don't think they saw that. Well, they smoke in, they get the kill in the Storm Spirit. And now he did have a Bloodstone, so that's just. There's some charges down the drain. He's up to five now, or down to five, I should say, at eight. Yeah, so he got eight and died immediately. So that sucks. That's just the way it goes. Not good. I mean, it, when you get uh, when you get the bloodstone on Storm, it's a very scary time because the next fight is pretty crucial to the next five or six minutes of the game. Oh, Vita gets to the low ground just in time. They're gonna have to exit Roche. They don't do it fast enough, and. I mean, you can game and they're all alive again. The Storm's going to TP in. Yeah, they just, just can't like, do it. Oh, the swap long range. Level 2 swap is up. They're not going to Omni Slash. They're going to use the Grave. Greedy Vacuums. No wall yet. Thought about using it. Actually, he's out of mana. And they get the kill on the Hydra. Mm -hmm. Maybe they go back into Roche. And I think they do. They have Wave of Terror up in 8 seconds. The gem is now available for Z-Talk. It's going to fly out pretty soon. They I wonder can... if they consider a Diffusal Blade next on this Juggernaut. That would not be a bad idea, I think. Purges off Shallow Grave, purges yeah. off Crimson Guard if that's a huge issue. Yeah. It's decent, I think. I already have the Mantis style, so you get the added value there. I don't know if they go for it, but I think that's a smart I, I mean, yeah, it, this is a pretty flexible... I mean, after you have this ridiculous core items, like, it's pretty flexible, but, you know, that might be, uh, might be an option. That was... So... Kind of an anticlimactic fight. I thought they were going to take Roshan off the back end of that, but nothing actually happened. Especially, you know, I, this is kind of an underrated change, I think, that Diffusal Blade is not an orb. Because it, it makes it a lot more viable in situations like this, you know? I still think I, they need I to do like something with that item. Yeah, they it's probably a little bit a little bit underpowered. But, you know, it's like a purpose item. You know, yeah, you don't... Yeah. I don't think you should get it on every hero. Yeah. Not that's like, uh, you know, it's not a BKB. Yeah, that's fair. Well...
Ben Haas is going to head towards the Dyer's jungle and continue to farm. He has actually 2,000 gold and level 17. Is he the highest level in the game? No, Axe is by one level. So there's that. What about the, the graphs here? Union Gaming are in are a scary. pretty commanding lead. 10,000 net worth lead and a, well, 7,500 experience lead. That's not that big of a deal, but all they really need to do is take Roshan, take another fight, and they can probably get a, a set of racks off the back end of that because they've already done the, the grunt work. They've taken down these tier two towers, although Axe does get a BKB, which is pretty good against the Storm and, and everyone else this game except for the, the Juggernaut, but this is just such a difficult initiation, even with a Crimson Guard, even with a BKB. It's not easy to take, but Union Gaming will smoke up. And they're going to try to fight. They know they're coming, though. Juggernaut walked right through that Observer Ward, which did get countered quickly by Z-Talk, or, well, with the gem from Z-Talk. Lupita's going to stay in the tree line, and a smoke will not pan out for Union Gaming. That's unfortunate for them, but, uh, I mean, Union, I don't think Union's in any sort of rush here. No. I don't see... I don't see them really pushing in the game. They would like to take this Roshan, I think, though, because... Getting this Roshan doesn't end the game, but it certainly takes a serious step towards it because then Isers knows that they're going to be much more hard pressed to fight in the next ten minutes. So, yeah. but Pita is looking for looking for someone here. There is no one down here looking for this TA though. I mean, I don't know what you're waiting for if you're Union Gaming. I don't know if you needed any other items yet. I mean, Maybe I think one more item no for the rush. Jug. Yeah, you know, like you know, they're they're just they're chilling. Greedy has got. I think they'd gold, like. Or... They definitely like to get a pick off and then they can move on something. I mean, look at the look at how scared the dire heroes are. They're all just bottom lane protecting each other. Except for Dolce. Clockwork, yeah, he's way off on his own, but he is definitely under risk of dying. Is yeah, Zinnos is gonna blink and kill him. And there's a blink dagger. Oh, is he not gonna go for that? Does yeah, he not know? He, they should know. I think he walked through this observer ward not too long ago. Yeah, Dolce's gonna I mean go there's blink. options here. They have no vision in this whole this whole area basically. Uh, Zindrals is gonna go on to Dolce and Mania. They saw him walk into the lane. That's what they were waiting for, and they're gonna find the kill. Vacuum, Electric Vortex. That's hero. I mean, I just... What was that play from the clockwork? Like, <laughs> why is he out that far? You know? Just hanging out, Travis. I can't... I can't Sometimes you have to hang out, question. I guess. That's true. Yeah, hang loose. Pavita, he's gonna continue farming. Now has a BKB. Yes, that's helpful. They'll try to this game him. just feels so hard now for Isaris. They, they had a very definite opportunity. But unfortunately, when they got destroyed in that, that like 15 minute fight, it makes things a lot harder. And now with Union Gaming, time to man up. Everyone is a fan of this all clicking. Wow, Bola coming Storm in. Storm is going hard. Hydra, to Hydra is actually. Oh, the Grave comes out. Maybe he's not going to get that kill. Calling Blade. They actually kill the Storm. The double Earth Spike, but it's a bit too late. Hook shot in onto two. Roche will go down, but already Union having a tough time. Zinderos oh, is going to fall. Axe Meanwhile, Axe, Axe jumping in. The Omni is going to go. Possible. Pepita. He might be in trouble, but the Crimson Guard doing so much work still is going to fall to Ben Haas. Oh, now let's turn his attention to DDX, who's going to run right into the Replicate, but the Replicate's attacking the Illusions. Ben Haas has to back away. Ben Haas still has Aegis, pops the Mantis style. DDX trying to go to work. He does have Refraction. In one second, he'll be able to use it. And Ultra Strike goes. Ben Haas is okay. Somehow, this fight's going as through his way for the most part. Storm will be back uh, up in 10 I mean, seconds. Storm dying that early. Storm was very, very greedy there going for that pickoff. I mean, it was definitely a possibility. But with the axe there, it basically disrupts everything. If Storm had a BKB there, that fight would have been a complete disaster for Israel. They would have lost, like... Two heroes just to the storm with the double damage rune. Looking for me. And uh unfort I mean unfortunately for the storm, that's not the case. And Isaris get a little bit of life, but still Ben Haas is able to get the Aegis plus he still has it. Did not lose it in that in that fight, so that's yeah. pretty important as well. So I'll wait for Omni Slash probably to be up again and then they just try to fight one more time. Ah. Storm will have something pretty soon. He has twenty five hundred gold in the bank. I, I think BKP is the right item this game. It's time, I think. I mean the problem now is this bloodstone is Looks pretty ugly, to be honest. How many charges that? Four. Four. That is not good. It's not good, yeah. Mana regeneration. Oh, jeez, it's just this is not where you want to be. I think he has to get a BKB, honestly, especially and... after that last fight. Like, it, I mean, obviously it doesn't stop the call, but it stops all the damage that comes after the call. So. Wow. The pizza top lane continuing to push the waves quickly. Counter helixes a couple of times, and then. Uh... We've kind of slowed down so far. There were a couple really huge fights early on in the game. Uh, as soon as his DDX he's afraid. is going to be orchid. He learned his lesson. Oh, no. he's, oh, God. he's dead anyways, regardless of what lesson he may have learned. 
Maybe he's not dead. He's gonna try to TP out. He actually might make a PP that doesn't have Good. his counter helix and berserker's call. Nice play. I, I thought he they might have done enough damage. I don't think they got any counter helix procs though. Well, Isra's trying to get some pickoffs here on the core heroes to make it so they can actually win this game. Ben has his definitely DD. their way back in. Ben has is a DD. Oh, this could be ugly. Right over to their own jungle and yeah, see who they can find. Pepita is just standing there. He blinks away. Ball lightning, long range. No, I think Where? he was just looking Swap. for someone. Look at Terra. Fullback's gonna give his life. He gets bashed. He was trying to grave. He got bashed to death. Dolce Mini's like, it's time to get out. You're not gonna be so lucky. They popped the BKB. This is a problem. Now the storm's coming in. He's gonna ball lightning further. He's gonna pull in the Hydra. And the Hydra is gonna disrupt himself so that they can't chase anybody else down without maybe just foregoing the kill altogether onto him. He'll fall. Meanwhile, Ben Haas is going in deep. Oh, he oh. gets procced by the cogs twice. Dolce still gets hexed up, yeah, forces up. They don't even need to use the Omni Slash here. Oh, he's gonna pop it off for whatever reason. Little, Three are dead no. though, but. Yeah, that was miscommunication there. I definitely did not have to Omni. It's time to Especially go for the tier three tower though. They, there's yeah. two heroes dead for 26 seconds. I mean, that's kind of the opening that you needed. There's no buyback in any of those heroes. This shrug's just Dyer's out of control. Is under this is gonna be maybe a Rax. This is really hard because if, be. if he gets his blink cancel, then it's right. Oh, he's, die. if he dies, do you buyback? Just, no, he doesn't have enough buyback. He actually has buyback if he gets a kill here, but he will not get one maybe before he goes down. He's going to fall. He doesn't have a buyback for a couple of seconds at the very least. Oh, man. What a disaster. He yeah, he does have an allocate. Okay, he can use it. There he goes. Air Spike goes. Disruption as well, but the Rax is still in trouble. Buyback coming up from the Axe. Ben Haas really wants to finish this melee Rax up. He, he will. He still has Aegis. Yeah, he's fine. Oh, the Berserker's call misses, or did it go? It might have. He walked back in and died. Yeah, it hit. Yeah, it definitely hit. He was four sapping away when it went on. Pepita gets bashed up. DDX looking for a fight. Berserker's calling to Ben Haas. That's a big target if they can bring him down. He's Manta. He's going to use it. Still getting chased, by the way. Hookshot oh, in. Excellent. They're really going to work. Ben Haas is going to fall here for the second time. Storm will get full back and leave, but he's actually out of mana. They don't yep. no swap. He'll ball landing to the high ground and denies himself. And he's down to four stacks still they get the melee racks in the mid lane i sewers holding on for dear life had omni slash been available had they not used it on the clockwork there they probably win that game clean up easily but they just get one building well two out of it i'm not sure i think that's probably uh that's a hard choice like was that worth it probably yeah i think maybe so. not he uh, i mean he's it's sort of certainly teetering on the edge it's not like they're gonna lose anything from dying here but. yeah no i mean they could have farmed it more and had a better fight with Omni Slash up and killed everybody, but... I mean, I him using Omni in that, that little pick was actually a huge deal because he didn't, you know, hit Omni in that next fight. I think they would have just absolutely demolished that one. Yeah. Greedy picks up a Shiva's Guard, which is pretty good at this point in the game. Storm is going to just TP out. He's going for a Scythe next out of Magic. He'll go to the bottom lane. And Dolce Media is actually just not even past the river and he has to TP out. That's how afraid he is in this game, and I don't blame him. The only hero still dead on the map is going to be the Juggernaut. He's dead for another 20, well, 10 seconds or so. Uh, DDX has 5,000 gold, but he's been stifled. He's sitting at a Blink Dagger Mantis style Midas. And finally, we'll pick up the Daedalus here within the next couple of moments. But is that going to be enough? This is not an easy game for DDX by any stretch. Yeah, this game's getting hard. Uh, I mean, I think he, he needs a BKB after this. I think so. And he's just line disables are really brutal against TA. I mean, he's a glass cannon. Also, even just point. the ion shell, honestly, is brutal. Yeah. A lot of issues here for Isterus, but they are doing okay in these fights. Partially, I think. I mean, that last fight, I think, was definitely partially due to Union using that Omni early, but they're still doing their best. They smoke up. If they can kill Ben Haas cleanly here, this could be this could be big. Is he gonna stay? He does have buyback though. He's not saying. His illusion might scout this out. If they don't they know. Yeah, it's not illusion. Mm -hmm. They know that. Oh, this is this is actually gonna be a huge fight. They're ready to go. Blink Berserker's called Ben Haas in trouble. The Earth Spike comes out the swap, swap as well. He's Omni Slash. He needs to use it out. He's gonna pop it off. Fullback still alive. Gets the grave off. Nobody taking that much damage. Yet Pepita's still alive as well. The Hydra getting chased down. Who's winning this fight? Ben Haas about to go down. He will fall. It's a two for one trade in the meantime. Storm is on the backside looking for DDX. If they get this kill, that would be huge. And they will take him down. It's four dead on the side of Isu. It's a triple kill for the Storm Spirit. 
They do not get the X. Pepito was able to TP back home, but he's the only survivor, the sole survivor of a hectic ass fight if I've ever seen one. Yeah, Sheepstick doing some work in that fight, and uh, t to be honest, I mean, that was a huge fight for the Storm. Now his charges are back up to a reasonable level. He has a hex now. I mean, they killed Ben Has, but that's you know that's a but at what cost? That's a but at what cost moment? Four of them die. None of them have buyback. They're potentially losing another building here. At probably the very losing least. another building. I, I, uh, maybe two. I'd say they lose a tier three and probably the mid racks completely. Or you could maybe lose the top racks entirely. I think they're definitely going to get this tower. This yes, tower agreed. Well, they're well, going to go get in. a kill maybe instead. Nice disruption. This feels like oh, this feels a little risky to me. It does, but right now it's working for them. The Hydra is going to fall. BKB pops for Zinderols. Zerker's call going in. That'll be on the Greedy Next and the Storm available. Spirit. And I think they should be okay for the most part. Pepita is going to get Earth Spike. No, it's just an Adulce Mania. Oh, the chop misses. Oh, and if Pepita dies here, this is probably game. And he is going to fall. He will not have buyback. He just used it. This is most certainly an easy set of racks. TP coming in from DDX, and actually he might be able to save this off on his own until at least Ben Haas gets here. Shiva's the X up DDX! He doesn't have a BKB, he gets obliterated! Oh no, that was their last hope, and that is GG. Pepita saying, that's it, we're done. And Union Gaming, since about 10 minutes into this game, they've had the advantage, and boy, do they push it, and they get the victory. Yeah, TA buys a Daedalus because they need the damage, which is definitely true, but then left without a BKB. Sometimes that's what happens. As you said that, my chair broke. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, what a game from Union Gaming. Uh, it took us a while to get here, but the game was worth it, I'd say. Uh, it kind of stagnated a bit in the, the mid-game, but a lot of excitement going both ways. Ben Haas carrying with the Juggernaut. And uh, we did Storm it. Storm had a pretty respectable game considering how rocky the, the post-Bloodstone purchase was. Yeah. It was so, uh, a pretty, pretty good game there for me in gaming. I mean, they had a very solid plan, very normal picks. Staved off some aggression from Isaris, and, well, pays off in the end. We're able to take it. I think that's the last game of the night. It should fortunately. be. Uh, it's 1040. If we were to play any other game this evening, it would probably go past midnight. I don't think anybody wants that. Uh, so we will have two rescheduled games. We have no idea when they're going to get played. That is, of course, Isurus versus Seahawk and Union Gaming versus Wheel. So these two teams still have to play up their last two games in Group B. Group A is already 100% completed. We haven't even touched Group C and Group D. So still a lot to go here in the group stages for Dota 2 Canada Cup. Again, my name is Mott. Make sure you check out Dota 2 CA, Dota 2 .ca rather, for more information on the tournament schedule, um, et cetera, et cetera. Twitter.com says Dota 2 Canada, where you can find a giveaway for a Steel Series rival. Go ahead and retweet and follow to be a part of the action there. Make sure you check out twitch.tv slash Dota 2 Canada Cup. Follow us. Uh, of course, my name is Mott. With me is What is Hip. We're with HighGround.tv. You can check us over there at HighGround.tv. Twitter.com says at Mott Dota and, uh, of course, at What is Hip TV. Um, of course, shout out to our sponsors. G2A.com, Steel Series, Twitch, and of X course, Fire. X Fire, the new mm. tournament uh, gaming platform. With that being said, guys, we're all done for tonight. We will see you all next time. Have a fantastic evening.